this morning, this Monday morning, we are off to East London's best cafe, according to Google and Time Out magazine. A bit of a bold statement, so we're gonna go and see. It is called the E5 Bakehouse, which is in E5, which is Hackney. Not an area that we know very well, although it is only 20 minutes away from our old hometown. So we're gonna go and check it out. I actually found this cafe before on a search when I was back here over a year ago now but I never actually made it there so we are going to go and try it out today. Hackney used to be an area of London that you would probably avoid. <laughs> it wasn't very desirable along with Stratford and Leighton and Leightonstone and that kind of area but since the Olympics came to London all those areas suddenly became very hip and up and coming and property prices boomed and now that area of London is actually quite desirable. Lots of hipstery cafes, it has now become rather a trendy place to live and to hang out and the prices do reflect that. We also have Eden with us. This cafe had a promotional video on their website that had lots of little doggies walking around so dogs are allowed inside so we thought we'd bring Eden along for an outing as well. Right, we found the cafe. It's in a quite a cool location under the railway arches. Jay's just paying for parking via the app and then we're gonna walk there. Looks like there's quite a bit of construction still going on, building homes. Everywhere you look, there's cranes. We paid for two hours of parking and it came to £5.50, which is really pricey. I'm getting used to these London parking prices now. There's the cafe right there, E5, found it. Thank you. Thank you. Is a beautiful looking Cortado, and that looks lovely too. <laughs> this is definitely the best coffees we've had in London since we've been back 100%. This Cortado was amazing. And we're not just saying that because you're supposed to say it, it is, it's got a good reputation for a reason. Like all the decaf people have like, haven't been there, they've been alright, but they're not like, that's a really great coffee. It's, it's decaf, flat white, and it's really great. <laughs> yeah, so even the decaf passes the bar. We're trying very hard to choose a loaf of bread to take home with us. So many good choices. They all look really nice. Absolutely buzzing in here now. Loads of customers. So yes, that was definitely the best coffee I've had in the whole of London so far. No doubt about that at all. It's right underneath the London Fields overground station. And it's coolly placed in the arches, which I thought was really good. They had quite a lot of staff there, didn't they? Yeah, it was very busy. Very busy, but you can see why. Really good coffee, really good bread. So we're actually gonna go back and get some bread as soon as we're done in the park, which is right next door. So let's go and check that out. There's some flats here overlooking this park. What's the name of this park, Sash? London Fields. London Fields <laughs> Park. All right, let's go and have a look. We are here. Let's see what's in the park. Spending some time walking around East London's most desirable areas. Trying to imagine 
what it would feel like if this was going to be our home. Having just left such a cool and trendy coffee shop, walking past all these homes, flats, apartments and places to live. Through the London parks, seeing everybody existing, enjoying their time here, it still doesn't feel like it's for me. These would be the fields that we would walk our daughter, walk our dogs. Having been and seen so many things now, this just isn't enough. And we yearn for more. We're going to look elsewhere. I honestly can't get over how good that coffee was. <laughs> Normally when I read an article about a place and they say that somewhere's good, I always go in there a little bit skeptical, thinking to myself, is this just because it's gotten popular through some other means? But you can tell that that place has done it on its merit. And we're going to go and buy one of those loaves, specifically because everything else was really good in there. And those macaroons were amazing too, weren't they? Really good. Dark chocolate on it. Yeah, dark chocolate, coconut, just delicious. Looks like they had a fun fair on the green. Must be packing it up now. This seems like a very popular park for dog walkers. When we were in the cafe, we saw some leaflets for dog walking services and it looks like quite a few of the people in here are walking multiple dogs. So I'm assuming that's their job. Not bad business to be in, is it, Sash? Da daily work. <laughs> do not dare give me to a dog walker, Mum. I do not want to be walking with all those other dogs. Oh, I'm not social enough for that. Just spotted this nice looking house on its own here at the end of the park. That looks good. I bet that's worth a bit of money. You think, Sash? Not cheap, eh? This building's been here since 1875. Sasha was just saying that she likes these kind of properties here, but I don't think I could ever live in one of those. Far too busy. You like the ones with the steps, yeah? Yeah. Mm, still don't see the appeal. We mentioned this before quite a while ago in the vlogs but ever since we've lived in that farmhouse in Chiang Rai we did say then it would be very difficult to top that having all that nature on your doorstep waking up to the sound of insects and just real living anything else apart from that now I think I'd struggle with Found a hot yoga class and a bread station. Let's see what's down here. Another coffee shop in an arch. Got a co working space here, all very trendy. Still lots of arches unused, although the ones that are used are doing quite well. Alright, I just went back into the E5 bakehouse and I got a walnut bread which looked really nice. There was only one left, Sash. So we just caught it in time. <laughs> Everything, the total bill for the two coffees, the two macaroons and this loaf of bread came to £10 and 70p. So that's how much it costs to go to the trendiest and best cafe in East London. <laughs> we are a bit confused as to why it's called the E5 Cafe, considering Hackney and the road that it's on is actually E8, but that is the name of it, E5 Bakehouse. From what I know, the guy that runs the place, he was fed up with his job. He left, went to Morocco, saw a guy baking some bread on the street and decided he wanted to do that himself. Came back to London and started doing it, selling them in people's homes and then opened a cafe. So it's a pretty cool story. Ready to go? I'm always ready to go. This is what our walnut loaf looks like. Can't wait to try it. It's got a good crisp on it, Sash. Yeah, yeah. Mm, nice sniff. Mm. Just smells like paper bag. Uh. <laughs> All right, so we are done in Hackney. We're gonna drive back home now. And on the way, I'm gonna pick up some bits for dinner. I'm gonna make Cam and Shell and Jay and I's dinner tonight, which will be a lentil bolognese. Haven't tried it before. Hopefully it'll be nice. 
So that's the plan for the rest of the day. I am actually going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed coming along to the cafe with us. It was a very good find and definitely was a great coffee. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to these tiny moments which you can do by clicking here. That is all from us today and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!